Uh, his passes have been very aggressive early in the count recently. How you're happy with the homer, Hunter, but what did you learn from that throw from Tom Clayton? Uh, it'd be another conversation coming. Uh, I mean, he knows it. Uh, it just you're setting the table for the tying run to score right there. That just, you know, he knows it. He gets it. Uh, he's got so much faith in his arm that he thinks he can throw everybody out. And sometimes just the right play is the simple play. Just throw it right through the cutoff. And he's not trying to throw it high. Just has to be a much more concerted effort to get the ball down. What did you think of the way the two backing guys finished up the eighth night? Uh... They got the job done. Uh, I know in Brad Hand, he's been, uh, he's, he's, you're so used to like the one, two, three inning that any inning that involves like hits and walks, you're kind of shocked by it. Uh, but he's been great all season long and uh, he's probably not used to four days off in a row. He pitches pretty much every day for us. So the four days off in a row, he's, uh, I joked with him when he came in, I said, you're mad at me for giving you four days off. You want to get a few extra pitches in, huh? And he just smiled. Yeah, that was it. So, uh, and then Maurer, uh, nice job closing it out. How about Blaine Gardner? Like, you know, you've been in this, of course, a lot of time, and maybe not exactly at 100%, but you'd be impressed by the fact that he's able to come back and still pitch the two starts for the Giants. Been able to he's a competitor. Nothing he does really shocks me or anybody in baseball. Uh, he's good. And even if uh, it's not midseason form for him, he's still not an easy draw. He's still a very, very good pitcher. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure he's out there, like, upset about the way the game ends for him today. But uh, no, he, he's tough on us every single time.